Good morning, Yanis. Good morning, Billy. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm good. You're good, yeah? Nice, yeah, I'm feeling yeah. better. Yesterday you weren't feeling well. Uh, you were malade. Sick. Hier. Yeah. Yeah. Un petit peu. Un petit peu, yeah. okay. Aujourd'hui, c'est mieux? Aujourd'hui, I am good. Good, good. So this morning we are taking off the shutters for the rear doors of the chateau. Yeah. The uh, metal shutters. C'est quoi le nom en français? Chateau. No, uh, the truck metal. Uh, don't you don't know. know. <laughs> well, I don't know either. Um, so it's looking a lot better. This is quite an interesting rear door, so to speak, because it's got this sort of glass transom at the top, but there is no actual like. Well, you can't actually go. Th you can't really see through it because there's a piece of wood. So um, we're not sure what to do with that. Maybe clean it up just so you can see the glass. Um, but yeah, it looks good. If I take you in the room quickly and put up the ISO, there we go. You can see now we're actually underneath the main staircase. Um, there's a lot of junk in here, but we're gonna clean it up and then to the doors so yeah should be good Yanis should be good let me put the um, neutral density filter back on there we go and we got Rick around the corner here morning Rick morning. how's it going okay we're uh, yesterday I'd raised up in the world today I've gone right back down <laughs> <laughs> but you'll be up there later because I I've got to move the manito to the back kitchen windows so you can remove the shutters and paint them as well mate yeah and hopefully we'll get around the corner to the uh, the doors that yanni's preparing for me yep yep so uh, yanni's going to start sanding them in a minute yeah, and i'm just taking off the shutters so all right then i'll let you crack on mate okay. and me and yanni's will crack on
Rick. I see you've done a before and after. Yeah, just to see um, what it was like and know what it is like. Yep. Obviously, it needs a second coat, which we can do once it dries. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they're, they're looking all right. Absolutely. They look really look lot, good, mate. A lot neater, a lot better. So the glass at the top, we decided that we won't clean the paint off. We'll just paint over them like the previous person did. Because it's all boxed in anyway. It's boxed it? in, yeah. All you'd see is exactly. a box behind it anyway. So Michael yeah. did have an idea of getting some sort of like acrylic paint or something and making them sort of grey so it looks like glass. Oh, okay. But, but I don't know if he'll ever do that. It's but it's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and tomorrow, we're up there. Yeah. Tomorrow, we're doing the staircase windows, which will be fun. So we're going to use the Manito. I'm going to lift you up there, Rick. And leave me. And leave you up there, That's yeah. Right. As long as there's something cracking, uh, I'll be all right. <laughs> exactly, mate. Fantastic. I really appreciate your help, mate. It's all right. It's done, we've done well today. So we've done two little windows, two big windows. Yep. And uh, with the help of Yanni sanding the doors down, we've got three he did a, of that done. He did a good job, didn't he? Did he did a really good job, yeah. Yeah, and then we'll just keep making our way around, mate. And then, guess what we'll be doing? Starting upstairs. <laughs> That's not a problem. <laughs> we've got the tools. We've we got have. a paintbrush. Yeah, we're good to go. All right, mate. Thanks a lot. That's all right. We'll see you tomorrow. Yep. See you tomorrow, mate. Okay. So yesterday I managed to prep all of this area. Yep. And that, that it was, uh, and it had a good amount of time for the primer to dry because mm -hmm. I put extra in. Yeah. Because I knew I'd have extra time for it to dry, which is great. So now I've put the stuff in here. Mm -hmm. Now I've changed tack. Or method? I changed my method because I thought, you know, before where I was mixing ash from the fire with sand to try and get that old sort of colour. Mm -hmm. But I noticed it's only on the surface. Mm -hmm. So if it sort of scratches off and it will weather off, then you just get exposed. The, the, the white grout underneath just gets exposed. So mm -hmm. what I've done is I've actually started mixing. It's not here. It's over there. I've got a tub of um, pigment. Yeah, which is kind of like what you would put into paint, and I mix that with it before, and it goes this. It's kind of like a smoked brown color. It looks like chocolate powder. Yeah, and I put that into it, and now I'm using just clean sand um, to stick to the top. So as you can see here, if I take the tape off, this bit I've just done. Yeah, can't go any further than there because I haven't put any in that bit yet. Let's take that bit off. Just leave it like that. Dispose of that. Take this one off as well. So the tape's great because it stops it from sticking to the stone. Get a nice neat edge. But obviously where the tape's been pulled off, you do have a little lip and the stone is a bit rough. So to just smooth it out, you've got to do it very quickly because if you go slowly, it drags it. So you've just got to go just like that. Yeah, it looks a lot better. And you get a nice smooth finish and to that, you get your clean sand, sprinkle it on. You can push it a little bit. Try not, it's, well, I try not to push it too much while it's um, just been put on. Sprinkle it on like that. You can go like that. And then usually I'll come back in an hour or so once this is set a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just brush, which kind of just pushes the sand into the surface. Yeah. That's a really good method. And then it looks like this. Yeah. Just here. Yep. Very neat, and the colour's consistent throughout, because of adding the ash, I was noticing I was getting lighter patches and darker patches, it was just inconsistent, so yep. I want consistent, consistent, <laughs> nice, aesthetic, uh, whatever. Well, you're doing a good job. Yeah, I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing my best. So you've got this small patch to my left now, and you're almost halfway. Yeah, I think I'll probably mix, I've just mixed up another lot, which mm -hmm. will go in now. Probably yeah. have to use one more tub for this area. Yep. And then that'll be it for today. And then tomorrow, I'm just going to keep going across, keep moving, <laughs> keep moving. And, yeah. and and we're and this at this point by this evening we have completed one third of the entire terrace. And by I probably I'd say Saturday I'll be halfway. That's great. So it's it's it feels like it's taking forever, but actually, when we look back on this. It'll feel like it took no time at all. Exactly. Yeah. All right, then. I'll let you crack on some more then. Yeah.